Nu ska jag visa två väldigt användbara bilder. I will now show two very useful concepts related to soil water storage. Field capacity and wilting point. Field capacity tells how much water a soil can retain against the effect of gravity. And wilting point gives how much water is left when the plants have sucked as much water they can for their transpiration. This is a sponge that we can regard as a soil. It has very high porosity and it has also a good ability to retain water. I'm now raining on this soil, a pretty big rainfall. All this infiltrated water is stored in the soil and we can see it as it is stored in the upper part of the unsaturated zone, the root zone. The rain continues, still all water is stored. It becomes wetter, of course, and heavier. Den blir blötare och blötare förstås, lite tyngre. Nu. Now the dripping starts, and after a while the dripping stops. Och efter en liten stund så slutar det droppa här. Now we say that the soil is at field capacity, the maximum water content that can be held against gravity. Further rainfall on the soil will now result in outflow of the same amount. We can say that the soil is loaded. Rainfall on such soil would give percolation of water towards the groundwater. What we can see and hear now is the groundwater recharge. When the rainfall stops, the soil keeps this water content. The plants can use a part of that water while waiting for the next rainfall. They are developing a negative pressure to suck the water. I cannot create the suction, but we can say that this water is what is taken up by the plants. It should, of course, have gone upwards. Eventually, the pressure of the remaining water is so negative the water is so tightly bound to the soil that the plants cannot suck any more water. Then the soil moisture is at wilting point. There is some water left, mainly bound by adsorption, but it cannot be used by the plants. The water we just saw falling down is the plant available water that the plant can take up and send to the atmosphere. I'm wetting this soil once more. The water infiltrates, increases the soil moisture content, and eventually reaches field capacity. Now, some extra water will give abundant dripping. Then I turn the soil, and now the dripping stops. If I raise it, the dripping starts. So ska vi se om det börjar droppa. Ja. Då droppar du den. It seems as if the field capacity depends on the orientation of the sponge. When standing, it can retain less water than when lying. For water to leave the sponge, the pressure of water at the bottom has to be equal to that of the atmosphere. I'm now wetting it in a lying position. Now it's dripping. It is now at field capacity. The water has atmospheric pressure at the bottom, and we can call it the groundwater surface. 
The pressure of water above equals the distance to the water table. At the top, about two centimeters above the water table, the pressure is about minus two centimeters. This is the most negative water pressure of any pore in the sponge now. But if I turn the sponge, a lot of water is drained, and it corresponds to the water in some of the pores in the upper part, where the pores are exposed to a pressure of about minus 10 centimeters, making also the somewhat smaller pores to be emptied.